Hey guys, it's Becca. Happy New Year and greetings from my laundry room. <laughs> it's super cloudy outside and this was the only place that had good light. So I'm shooting from the laundry room today. I hope everybody had a nice holiday season. I went home and actually didn't do very much drawing. Um, I usually try to prioritize spending time with my family when I have the opportunity. So I didn't get too much done um, over the last couple weeks, but uh, I did. Uh, get started at the very least on studying the pelvis and the rib cage through the Proco uh, lessons. I would say all in all, suboptimal experience, unfortunately, um, or maybe not. I guess I'll get to that in a little bit. But to begin, the pelvis especially I found really, really, really tricky. Um, it was a struggle. It is still definitely an unresolved struggle. You may recall when I was doing my draw box lessons uh, that I spent probably two weeks working on cylinders and drawing cylinders in perspective and understanding how to recognize a square in perspective, which was in turn a circle in perspective, and a cylinder is in turn two perfect squares and circles in perspective. So I spent a long time and I felt like I had made some progress on that and being able to recognize things. So imagine, imagine my agony <laughs> when I realized that the pelvis is not in fact a cylinder in perspective. It's more like this shape. It's kind of like a squished tube item. And unfortunately, none of those little tricks and none of those assumptions that you make um, that I learned kind of how to eyeball the cylinder work at all for this when you're trying to imagine this in perspective without plotting the points. So that was really discouraging, I have to say. Um, it feels, it's always so hard when you feel like you're making some progress on something and it turns out that it's just not applicable to other things, um, like the pelvis. So that was really frustrating. And you know, you know once I start busting out these weird 3D models that things are not going well. So, um, the ribcage went a little bit better. Those, that is a slightly more simplified shape, um, but it was still really, really frustrating for me. Anyway, when I, I usually take like a couple little notes before I make my videos and I read through my notes before I filmed this one and basically there was like a several bullet point long wine fest about how hard it was and blah, blah, blah. And when I was reading through my notes, I was like, you know what? No, no. I'm not going to complain about this because I'm choosing to do this. Like, of course it's hard. Uh, one of the best things about having a YouTube channel is that every week it forces me to sit down and think about my mindset and really address whether or not I am approaching how I learn in the way that I want to be learning. So in the past I've been, I am very much kind of innately a perfectionist, I'm very goal oriented. So throughout this whole learning process, it's been really, really important to me to focus on um, my mindset and my perspective on learning. So every week I have to sit down and if I have a bad attitude, which I would say I kind of did this week, it gives me an opportunity to say, okay, why are you here? Are you, you know, being the person that you want to be in your studies? And so while this week is really frustrated, frustrating, I was actually really happy to have this opportunity to reflect, which is kind of, Funny that it's the new year and here we are reflecting um, on why I'm doing this and it really is much more about my perspective and my outlook and my mindset than it is about being the best artist in the world and if it takes me 50 more years to learn how to draw the pelvis so be it I will be like an 80 year old lady in the old folks home drawing the pelvis that's fine that's totally fine and that's a very reassuring thought for me that like this isn't a race this isn't a rush i'm here to learn and to become better at having a positive attitude while learning so that was sort of about the pelvis sort of about some other things <laughs> but uh, i hope you guys can relate to that and um i hope you guys can be gentle on yourself when things aren't going well, when you're struggling with something that maybe isn't your strength, which obviously this is not my strength. So, you know, you can't be good at everything. And I hope that you guys are able to uh, sort of see your strengths and weaknesses for what they are, which is an opportunity to learn and to work on your mindset.
lastly, I just want to say, I, I feel like I never say this enough, but thank you so much for watching my channel and being supportive and giving me your ideas and everything in the comments and um, it means a lot to me and I am excited to make more videos in 2019. So happy new year to everybody. Here's to another year of growth and learning. Onto the drawings.